Hi, Rick Carrick. I'm here with another great new item from Inner Products LLC. It is our flashbang grenade trainer. This is a safe, reusable flashbang grenade trainer with zero consumables. It has a built-in wireless transmitter within the body itself. That wireless transmitter pairs with the expander box you see behind me here to safely and effectively simulate the audible and visual effects of a flashbang grenade. I'm here at Roll Call's indoor shoot house in Scranton, and I'm gonna demonstrate just how easy and effective this device is to use. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to operate this flashbang grenade trainer. I have my expander already set up in the corner of the room to provide the flash and blast simulation. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my flashbang grenade on with the toggle switch. The red LED light indicates that it is armed. I'm gonna hold down the spoon firmly. I'm gonna set my pin ready to pull. Pull my pin out. At this point, I'm gonna throw the grenade. This spoon is under spring tension, so it will fly off just like a real flashbang grenade. First, you want to turn your toggle switch to the off position. The red LED will no longer be lit. This indicates the device is not armed. You can go ahead and reset the cell. You're going to yeah. take your small flathead tool, place that in the area between the spring and the fuse head, pull back, hold that all the way back with your thumb, like so. It's going to be under a lot of tension, so you want to make sure you're holding that pretty tight there. You're going to reset the grenade spoon. And then when you're releasing here, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that fuse head catches right in this area here, not all the way flip forward. Now that you have the grenade in this position, it is under spring tension. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're holding that, that spoon down the entire time until the grenade pin has been reset. To reset the pin, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's a hole in the fuse head and the hole in the actual spoon itself. Both of those are gonna line up. You're gonna take your pin, push that through the holes on this side, all the way through the fuse head and same thing on this side over here. There's a hole in the fuse head and a hole in the grenade spoon. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the pin goes through both of those there. Once you have the pin all the way through, the spoon is set and safe. You can release that and it won't fly off. If you'd like to secure it additionally, you can go ahead and bend those ears back on the pin for extra security. If you'd like to throw the grenade again, you can simply turn it back on or if you're ready to store it, turn it in the off position and you're ready to go. Okay, you can see how easy that flashbang grenade trainer is to use. The expander box itself uses compressed air to provide that blast simulation effect you heard in the video. The compressed air can either be filled up for a single shot, put in the corner of a room, and once it detonates for that simulation noise, you can bring it out of the room and refill it. If you'd like, you can also leave it connected permanently to an air compressor. Every time that shot goes off, the air compressor will automatically refill the reservoir within the expander allowing you to provide multiple flashbang grenade effects back to back. These devices are available now from Inert Products. Give us a call at 570-341-3751 or visit us at inertproducts.com. Thank you.